I guess introduce who you are, and then we'll we'll, we'll jump right in with that. <laughs> okay, okay, um, okay. So my name is well, I guess since it's on YouTube, some of you guys may know me as Phantoms, which I report on Two K News and do stuff like that. Any drama that's going on, um, but on Twitch, I'm known as OVO Phantoms, which is where I started, where all like my content creation dreams or whatever you want to call it really started, and that was where my inspiration was. Branched out to YouTube, still do Twitch, but um, YouTube and Twitch are kind of like two different personalities, I guess, because on Twitch, um, like we talked about earlier, Twitch is more like a, it's more like a joking around thing. Like it's more of a personality thing. It's more unfiltered, definitely. There's a lot. Oh yeah. And on YouTube, it's like, if you were to, so actually there's been some people who have been from YouTube and found my Twitch and they're like, I've had people say to me, they're like, oh, like you're a completely different person. It's like. Yeah, and it's like I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing though, because I'm on YouTube, be honest with you, I didn't even know you were the same person as the person on your YouTube. Yeah. Like I, I thought I knew Phantoms, and then I found like I found you on uh, like Ovio on Twitch, and I, I yep. thought it was like two different people because you have such a different personality. Well, I mean the way, news. yeah, but the way I made my uh, the way I made my YouTube channel was just like because everyone loves drama. Mm -hmm. I mean, whenever there's drama going around, people love to get into it. And as much as, you know, people think it's toxic and whatever. Am I allowed to swear, by the way? Yeah, it's YouTube, yeah. It be. Okay. So as much as people, like, don't like drama, people love drama. And that's what I did with my channel. So I'm like, okay, I don't want to base my content around 2K gameplay because I know 2K is a sinking ship. And I know that it's losing interest year after year. Like, I've been playing 2K since I, I, I've been I, – I came up – at the same time, like everyone else did. The only person who's probably been doing this longer than I have that's still known in the community is like Cash and like Shake and Bake, uh, oh, yeah. Shakedown, like the OG OGs. Like, like I'm 25. Team? Were you like my team involved? Yeah. Yeah, I played my team originally. So everyone starts to, to slowly drift away from 2K. And once they do, they start being more successful. So I'm like, okay, exactly. I'm not going to judge all my content around 2K gameplay. Now I'll judge it around like drama that happens in the community because it's the 2K community. There's yeah. always going to be something going on. It's one of the most toxic communities ever in the history of like <laughs> gaming communities besides like Call of Duty and stuff because exactly. so I did that, but on Twitch it's like I just be myself. I just troll, I you know get made fun of whatever and it's Yeah, like we were talking about earlier with your Twitch chat. I feel like it's like an inside joke over there with because is it because of the hours that you stream because I always see when you're in your chat you're calling your you're like, you know, your viewers jobless, tell them to get a job application, all that sort of stuff. Is it because yeah. you're streaming like 11 a.m. and there's like a thousand people in there? Just No, okay, that's a joke. And and everyone knows it's a joke um, because I that community knows it's a joke. But new people who come in, I thought about this a lot actually. New people who come in who have no idea who I am or what I do, they probably think that I'm like a complete asshole. Like they're probably like, man, this guy's so full of himself telling people to get jobs when he's sitting here streaming video games. It's a joke. I don't think anyone actually needs to get a job. Obviously, I'm appreciative of them watching the streams and things yeah. like that. But that's an inside joke. That's another reason why there's a difference between YouTube and Twitch because I'm not going to sit on a YouTube video and tell yeah. the people who are watching my channel to get a job. So it's, it's all a joke. Yeah, that's great though. I, I mean, I love your chat. They're very. I feel like, like you and Los, you guys both have a very like mature chat. Like you have these streamers like Aiden and stuff, and like these bigger streamers that have. I feel like the average age of viewers over there is like eleven or twelve years old. Like they're so young and they can't be funny. Yeah. I feel like they just regurgitate the things that like the big streamers are saying. Where your your chat, Los's chat, like Kobe's, like all those chats. I feel like you have like an older fan base, so they actually are funny. And uh, part of the reason I like watching you is because of your chat like you know just oh and no and you're exactly right because like i said i don't know how long it, we use aiden as, a, as an example he's a great streamer great guy mm -hmm. i don't know how long he's been doing twitch or anything like that but yeah, sure. like i said i've been doing this for a very long time so everyone in my chat i've known for like five years so we all grew up together no, like so know. i did a i did an analytic of my chat and the majority of the viewers like 51 percent were like 20 over 20 years old really? so they're not like young a lot there's a couple young people who watch me but the majority of the people who watch me are older and they're they're funny like the jokes that they make like i actually yeah. laugh at my chat like exactly, yeah. some of the stuff they say is hilarious like i mean with the eye jokes and things like that <laughs> yeah what what happened with that like what's what i see that constantly so like is one eye like not real or like what what happened like Oh, in terms of like the eye jokes they make, like yeah, call like, me Cyclops. What's the story? Yeah, what's the story behind that? Because I see like one of your emotes is like a laughing emoji yeah. with one eye. With one eye, yeah. Um, man, if I had a counter for how many times I've explained this, it's it'd probably be. <laughs> I think it would be in the ten thousands now, but 
the story is is that I uh, when I was playing high school basketball and I was I think I was eighteen and I was in the middle of a game and my teammate was coming going up for a rebound I was coming down so like up oh, down so like, and his okay. so 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 think of him going up me coming down right so his finger when I was coming down I came down with my head down mm -hmm. so his finger slipped into my head and then his nail sliced my eye open in the inside of my head and then it came out and it like cut my entire eye open so obviously like literally just think of like a knife cutting like a piece of meat but that meets my eye and it sliced my eye entirely open so it got and then in I, your eye and then cut it it wasn't like it cut here like his it was like it was like it was like okay so this is gonna be really weird but this is my <laughs> eye right yeah that's his finger and then his nail cuts my eye and comes out oh. kind of weird representation of that but for you to understand I yeah i got it and then it sliced my eye open and I had internal bleeding and I went into shock. I had to have like four or five surgeries. I was supposed to lose my eye. I ended up keeping it. But with keeping my eye, I lost like 95% of my vision. And then my eye gets really lazy. I can't see much. It's hard to focus. But honestly, like I don't even – I don't get mad about the jokes though. I think it's funny because like what am I going to do about it? Like I can't change anything about yeah, it. Like I'm not – When you entertain it, it's content. Like people enjoy like that it. Yeah. Exactly, it's funny, but no, that was that's a real thing, and it's it's not a joke. I actually can't see out of this eye right here, so I think it's your left because Discord's flipped. Yeah. But it's it's my it's my right eye, so I can't see out of it at all. So those jokes are real. I actually can't see. That's yeah, because I know when like the way we met was just like random. Like we were just playing two K, and we you picked me up to play with Los, and mm. we were we were playing, and uh, we I was saying that his name Lewis it sounds weird. And he was getting pissed off, and he was like saying Mark, and he was saying Brendan, he was saying this stuff. And then you said something, you called him like Lard Boy or something, and he got pissed off. He's like, "You want to do low blows? How about we say why not?" And, he started, and so that's kind of uh, at first. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, me and Lo me and Lois is our, our relationship has been insane over like the course of five years because. I don't know if you know this, but I was actually banned on Twitch for three years. Really? And yeah, I was banned on Twitch for three years from 2016 to like 2019. I got on banned. Maybe it was 18. Maybe it was like two and a half years. Wait, it was a long time. Did you go time. anywhere like alternate or? So that's what I was going to talk about. So I did end up going to YouTube. Now, the only reason I wouldn't say the only reason, but a big part of the reason why like I stayed relevant and kept like my fan base, whatever you want to call it, which I use that term lightly because um, I don't like calling people fans. It's weird. Um, the reason why I kept my audience or people who watch me is because Lowe's, me and him played Fortnite together for every single day. There's so many videos of me and Lowe's like playing Fort together. And he brought me on a stream like every single day during the prime of Fort, and we would play together regardless of me being banned. So like we developed like a really good relationship. I knew him before that. I knew him in like 2015 when he How started streaming. Like, Was it just like oh a coincidence? My. Cause like you actually, you actually want to know the real story? Yeah. Is it? A, okay. Is it, is it <laughs> it's, 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 it's kind of sad, but it's funny. So um, I'm not going to use names here because you have no idea who they are, but maybe people from my community will watch, so I will use names. So there was a guy in the community way back in the day. You have no idea who it is. His name was Thugs Ambition, and he was a my team streamer, like OG OG 2015. And Lowe's was making a stream team called My Way, and I was a big fan of Lowe's. I used to watch Lowe's all the time, and I'm like, man, I really want to get on this stream team. So what I used to do at that time is I would snipe – my team cards. I don't know if you know yeah, anything about that. Like cards for like cheap. Cheap, yeah. So 2K15, I sniped an Onyx Derek Rose for 500, which at the time was insane. Mm. So I begged Thug's Ambition because Thug's Ambition was about to be on the team at the time. So I begged, like begged him to show Los Polos TV my snipe. So <laughs> Los Polos TV finally saw it. And then he's like, oh, like I, I know about this guy, whatever. And then we got into talks. And he invited me to the stream team. I was so excited <laughs> to be invited to the stream team. Like I was fanboying that I – on my old Twitter because my Twitter got suspended. Mm -hmm. I screenshotted our DMs and I tweeted them out, freaking out, being super excited that me and Lois were like in talks. It's really cringy, whatever. No, but no that, that's – I feel like that's a story for everyone, you know? Like anyone that ever comes up. You get, oh, yeah. You don't come up – as much as people say they're self-made or anything like that. Nine times out of ten, the person that like is coming up has had some sort of assistance in terms of like they've met someone or they've you know like like you have that connection with Lowe's or whatever. Like yeah. I've made connections with other people that have kind of helped me to boost like my subscriber count and like just being able to get big and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, yeah but I don't I don't necessarily uh, everyone looks at that as like a bad thing. Like everyone like 
because I remember there's a time for like a two year period where I was trying to get like a hundred plus viewers and everyone's like, Oh, Los gave you your audience, whatever, which I'm never going to argue. I'm never going to argue because at the end of the day, if it wasn't for me meeting Los and being friends with him, a lot of my audience wouldn't be there. And I'm not yeah, afraid to admit that, but it's but like at the same time that you have a thousand people sticking around to watch you. So like, exactly. It's like if, if, if I'm just Los's friend or if I'm just someone's friend, you know, whatever, mm. They're they're not going to stick around if you're not going to sit there and entertain them, right? Exactly, and yeah. and Los isn't the only person I'm friends with in the community. I'm friends with like every single person in the community. Like I'm exactly. friends with why well, I was friends with like LSK TTG. I, I came up with them too. Like they were oh, my best friends. Were you guys close with them? Or like I know Los. Yeah, me. Like, me and TT. Me TTG. Zach or Zach TTG. A Nick the Bulls fan. Specific, oh God, I forgot Nick, that guy. Uh, Snubby, so many people. All of us were like best friends. And a lot of people don't know about this. Like we were, all of us were so close, but everyone just blew up. Los blew up, Zach blew up, LSK blew up, Nick blew up for a little period of time, and and people and people don't know about that. But all of us were really good friends. Like I've known everyone in the community for so long. Like Troy Dan, uh, Cash. I I, ha I never really had a relationship with Cash, but he, mm. I've known. I feel like, like Cash I've been... is like one of those people that are really kind of like flight. Like they have a, a really tight inner circle, and to get into that, like you need to kind of prove yourself to. Like, oh, you, agreed. You, you yep. To, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. I don't necessarily think it's a, it's really a bad thing for people to get put on unless you mm -hmm. go into streaming with the expectations that you only want to make friends to get clout. Exactly. That's when I think it's an issue. I didn't want to be friends with Lowe's to be like. Oh, I want his his audience exactly, or his yeah. viewership. I wanted to be friends with Lowe's because I generally was a fan. Like, I was yeah, a fan yeah. of the guy. I used to watch him every day. He was the only person. Him and Nick Merch were the only two people I would ever watch every single day when I was. Oh, so in you've my been team. watching Nick Merch for a while too. Yeah. Yeah. So that was probably crazy for you too to see him come up like that. Yeah, obviously I don't have a relationship with Nick Merch, but yeah. yeah. But like seeing him, he's at like eighty thousand viewers a stream now. Oh, he's the he's the he's the biggest streamer on Twitch easily. Yeah. Yeah. And then seeing low, seeing lows going from 2K15, my team, to averaging like 200, 300 viewers. And it's, believe it or not, his chat was normal at one period of time. I kid you not, his chat was normal. And not saying that it isn't normal anymore, but it is completely different now. Yeah, it's, yeah, definitely. He has a one of a kind chat. But I, I do, building on top of like what you said there with like, you know, getting put on and everything, I feel like everyone, or not everyone, but there's a lot of people that have the potential to be like a streamer. Like you had that potential to be a streamer. You were able to be entertaining. There's a lot of people that are like that out there. And you kind of see it uh, with these e-dates now. Like there's a lot of entertaining people that are, are like getting put into these e-dates and they're getting thousands of viewers just off of, off of Aiden. Now you could say like, oh, he's making them, right? Which like, if you look at it like that, yeah, then in a sense he is pretty much putting them on his, on his stream and they're, he's getting viewers from it. But like, once they're putting you in the spotlight and then you got to run with it, you know? So like if these, if those people that are averaging a thousand viewers now on their e-dates, if they're averaging a thousand viewers a year from now, then they, they are successful. Not many of them yeah. are going to be able to do that. Whereas like with you, like when you were uh, playing fort with, with Los and everything and you're in the prime and everything and you're, I'm assuming you were having good viewership around there. Honestly, bro, I'm not really because I was on YouTube. Um, cause I was banned on Twitch. So not really. I'd average like, Probably like a hundred average, like on your YouTube. recognition like, was high, though, correct? Like everyone knew who you were, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I, like everyone yeah. knew who you were. So if you were, if you were on Twitch, you'd still be pretty successful. Whereas like, um, like some of these people, they're they're gonna like you. You you were at that like area, and and mm -hmm. years later, you're still you're still successful, which means that you were able to run with it, which isn't, you can't bash you for that. Like you've been doing this for how many years? You said like five years you've been involved. Yeah. It's not like stuff. that. Yeah. But I was, since I was 19, I'm 25 now. So six, exactly. like, like, I don't know. I, I feel like when people say stuff like that, it's, it's very, uh, it's like a double edged sword in a sense. Cause you get, the yeah, I mean, out of it, but you I mean, the thing with the, the thing with the Aiden thing though, is like, uh, like the E dates, the E dates are cool and all whatever, but it's like, if you're not doing an e-date and you're on that e-dating show, mm -hmm. then they're probably not going to exactly. watch. Like, yeah, that's exactly. the thing with that. That's the only thing that sucks with that. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you don't provide the exact content, that's that. That's the thing with 2K. That's why, I, so I tweeted out a tweet the other day. You probably saw it. And me and Poor Boy Sin actually had a conversation about this, which I love Poor Boy Sin. He's mm -hmm. OG, grinds 2K every single year. But we had a conversation about this. I said, to, do that, to be honest. <laughs> what? To be like, he should be getting paid to play that game. <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, people are passionate about different things, you know. So when I tweeted that out, I I, I kind of understand where he was coming from. But I tweeted out a uh, a screenshot of the viewers from just chatting to two K. Two K had eight point seven K viewers, and just chatting had four hundred K. And I tweeted out, 
any people who are struggling with 2K, please try to make the switch because it's going to be better for your future and it's going to be better for mm -hmm. you growing an audience because nowadays people care more about a personality than they do watching people play video games. Unless you're Ninja, Tifu, Nick Merckx, which Nick Merckx mm -hmm. is a personality and a video game streamer. But I said that and I said 2K is, is a dying path and it's like it was kind of disrespectful for me to say that because it kind of like says it's to people truthful. if you're grinding. It is truthful, but at the same time, it's like – that's kind of people like look up to certain creators, right? Not saying anyone looks up to me, but yeah. me saying that it's kind of like, oh, like detouring people. And, I, and that's what poor boy Sin said to me. But I thought about it. I'm just like, because everyone wants to use the the excuse that 2K is the views are low because of the console. Mm. The, that's I'm telling you right now, bro, like I've seen this happen year after year again. I said to a lot of my friends, if 2K does not improve this year, then it's not going to change. And I'm telling you. When consoles come out, I cannot see this changing. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'll regret saying this yeah. come December or December 25th. I think the main reason that, like, okay, 2K20, the community was popping. Like, m my best view, I, I had 20K sub like subscribers in March. And I was mm -hmm. getting 1.5, 2 million views a, a month. Like that was those were my best best months because like March, April, and May because I was doing. You were getting 1.5 million views a month with 20K subs. Yep. That in, that sub engagement range is terrible. Well, listen, this ha. is why though. This is why because I was doing tutorial videos, and in mm. March they made the game free to play. When they made it free, everyone got on 2K. That's why views were spiking, and like you know, with the virus and everything, like kids were home now, they were watching YouTube. So obviously, you know, it was yeah, it was there was help to it, but like. 2K, I don't know. That's part of the reason why I'm on this podcast right now. I well, it is the reason. I mean, I talked about it earlier with you, but um. When I saw my views go from what they were, like I finished 2K20 with strong views. I was excited for 2K21. I was I was thinking 100K by like Christmas time, the way I was going. And when 2K21 dropped and I watched my viewership going from like 10 to 20,000 views a video to 500 views a video, and I had to upload every single day of current gen just to get back up to like around 10,000 views a video. I, I I was like, okay, maybe you know, maybe next gen's gonna save it, you know, like you know, it's gonna just keep pushing on. When next gen came out, oh, it plummeted down again. So I was like, I can't keep relying on this game because like I'm 18 years old, so like I'm living with my parents right now. But say I was in, say I'm like, it's two, three years from now where I'm living in an apartment or something, and like I need I need money or something, and I, I can't rely on this game for that anymore. You know, like I need to I need to make something of it, and that's why I, I want to try out this podcast thing because I feel like this has longevity to it because you know there's the personality aspect. You're having different people on constantly, so there, there's different viewership coming in. You build a base that way, so it's a lot harder to fall off um, with a podcast considering that you could always bring new people on. Um, mm -hmm. And the thing with 2K is like, if if a 2K game isn't good then your views aren't going to be good. You're dependent on exactly. one video game to dictate your mood, dictate your income, dictate everything basically about your life if this is your job. It's dependent on a, a basketball video game yeah. that has clearly made it clear time and time again that they don't care about anything that anybody says. Yeah. So 18, disaster. 19, it was it was good. I, I really am not bad to say, except it for pushing. from 18 especially. Oh, 100%. 20, Honestly, was okay. I wasn't a big fan of 20, to be honest, but the popular opinion now is that it was pretty good. 21, current gen and next gen. For a next gen game to be hyped up this much mm. and, and to be – like even people who have the console don't play the game. I know people I who play – I'm not going to say any names, but I know people who play the game professionally who are in the league that do not like the game. They don't enjoy playing it. People – oh, it's consoles. No, the game isn't fun. There's nothing different about it. They took a neighborhood. They made it bigger and called it the city. And then people are like, oh, all you guys do is complain. I don't want to have to virtually skateboard around <laughs> a city to go to four different affiliations where three of them are dead 90% of the times. So they're yeah. a little better now. And then and then get a game. And on top of that, the first month the game was out, you couldn't even play a threes game because it lagged so bad. Exactly. Yeah. My, my, and I mean, it just, personally, my favorite 2Ks – were 16, 15, and 17. Now, 15 people were comparing to 21 next gen because of how arcade it was. But, like, the difference was 15. I could, I hopped on 15 just for fun. You know, like, I'd, I'd go in the park. There were seven-foot demigods and everything, but it was, like, fun. There was something about it that was just – there was a fun aspect to it. 16 with, like, rival days, the, the three affiliations. In my opinion, 16 was the best 2K for park. I mean, I know a lot of people say 17 because the community was lit, but, like, 
everyone went in the community when 17 was big like they everyone hated on 17 so so did i but now that i look back on i think it's one of those like uh uh living in the moment kind of things it's mm -hmm. like if we knew what we were going to get after 17 i feel oh, like we would appreciate that game a lot more and the community was actually involved in that game because some of the mm -hmm. some people were having fun the, com the community this year because of consoles whatever is dead like no one cares about the game bro nobody yeah and like, I'm not kidding. No one cares about the, the game, creators. bro. It shouldn't be the creator's job to do that. Like, I know the creators are what pretty much... I, I kind of look at some people like sheep, you know? Like, if, if a big content creator says, this game's terrible, immediately everyone's going to say it. Whereas if yeah. someone says it's good, immediately everyone's going to start saying it. If the top five content creators right now started streaming 2K and said, this game's so fun, you guys got to get it, try to get a next on console, I'm sure numbers would go up for a little bit. But, like, in the same sense, a... a Content creators shouldn't have to fake that hard that a game is really, really good. And that's that's why I respect Aiden yeah. because Aiden straight up just stopped playing 2K. Like yeah. he realized to himself, it's like it's so much easier, like it's so much harder to fake enjoy doing something mm -hmm. than it is to like because he's sitting there on stream playing 2K and he's miserable, bro. Like even I tried to stream 2K20 at the beginning of the year, I wasn't having fun. And I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna do this as a job, I want to at least have fun doing it. Yeah, exactly. Playing 2K. It's just not for maybe I'm getting older. Maybe I'm an old head now, and I only maybe have 100 games played on there, and that like compared to like what it was on current. Gen, I honestly I enjoyed current gen more than next gen, which I know a lot of people are like what like I don't know. I just something about current gen. I don't know if it was just because I didn't have to run like I didn't have to spend 15 minutes running to, or skateboarding to another you know affiliation <laughs> to be able to play. If that like just takes the enjoyment out for me, but I like the logic that 2K has. Like how could you? Everyone hated the hated the. What was it called? Was it called the neighborhood? In 18? Neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Everyone hated the neighborhood in eighteen. They made it a little better in nineteen because the courts were closer, mm -hmm. and then they made it even bigger. Like, well, that makes no sense. It was just. And then people sit there and they'd be like, "Oh, you guys hate on two K." It's like, bro, when you see this game year mm -hmm. after year after year, just continue to do things that make literally zero sense. Eventually, you're just gonna be fed up too. Yeah. Like I talk, I talk shit about two K. All the time, bro. And I'm never going to stop talking shit about 2K because it's something – I don't want 2K to be bad. I I, I truthfully promise yeah. you that I don't. That's what people I want mis 2K to be. Yeah. It's like you think we want the game to be bad. Sure, it does better for my YouTube channel aspect. But I would rather sit on Twitch, be able to do 12-hour streams, enjoying playing 2K. But I can't even – I sold my PS5 because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a dumbass and I bought a PS5 for 2K. I'm not going to lie. I'll admit to that. I, I don't even play the game. I never turned on my PS5. I just sold it. Because I don't play the game. Like, that's the only game that I played. Like, I, so I just sold it. I'm like, 2K is not going to be fun to me. It's, it's not going to change. Like, I'm done. Yeah. And I feel bad for a lot of creators because people are using the stigma. Like, I don't, I don't really agree with this because I see a lot of people that are, are tweeting out there like, all the big content creators are gone. Like, small content creators, this is your time to shine. That's not true because literally the big content content creators can't even pull a thousand or can't pull a hundred thousand. And 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 they they allow for the viewership to be like there is a point to what you're saying because poor boy Sin used that point with me too. He said with everyone leaving, it's now your chance to blow up. But how many people are actually going to blow up? Yeah, though? because the interest is down, and the people who watch 2K are mainly because of creators, aka Tysino, mm -hmm. Flight. Uh, Troy Dan, which Troy Dan doesn't even do 2K anymore. Yeah. But say, for example, let's say Flight gets on, this is a perfect example. Flight gets on 2K on Twitch, right? Mm. The viewers jump from 8.7K to 40K. Mm. So then when Flight gets off, those people still want to watch 2K. So they browse the rest of the 2K exactly. stream, which can allow for you to get five to 10 extra viewers. If Flight no longer streams the game, there was no longer that opportunity for those exactly. people who weren't originally interested in 2K to maybe look at other streams and it's just it's gonna make it, it like much that. harder i never even thought about it like that the main thing that i was thinking about was like people always make the comparison to 18 like duke dennis i'm davis all these people blew up call the man off of 18 right but the the thing that they failed to recognize is that 18 was still a basketball game the reason people didn't play 2k or like didn't play 2k was because fortnite like i know i left 18 because of fortnite now if you are a basketball fan and are really passionate about 2k you don't give a shit about fortnite you want to go watch 2k so that's why these people were still like the views were better in 2k 18 than they are now like it's they were still yeah, a viewership back then so like, and also if you if you chose 2k 18 over fortnite without content creating mm -hmm. 
you have problems. Like there, <laughs> there, there is an issue there. But yeah, no, I don't know. It's 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 there's two sides to that because yeah, sure, with all these people because annoying doesn't play two K anymore. Aiden doesn't play two K anymore. Tysino hardly streams the game anymore. Like people aren't streaming the game or uploading content about the game. Like yeah. And so I guess that does give people an extra opportunity to watch the game. But a lot of the people who watch 2K are based off the creators. Because 2K is a very saturated game. Like, yeah. people have the content creators that they watch. Like, me, for example, I report on news. Mm -hmm. So does Agent. 95% of the people who watch news are going to watch Agent over me. Yeah. Right? Because that's how it goes. Like, that's mm -hmm. how it is. If you want 2K news, you're going to go to Agent over me. Which yeah. is fine. I have no problem with that because he's an OG and been doing it a lot longer than me. Yeah. But that's the same thing with other content creators. So they want to watch gameplay or tutorials. They'll watch build videos. They'll watch Joe Knows, Dignify, mm -hmm. and things like that. If you're a, a smaller – example, Jacked Bill. Jacked Bill used to uh, – he was uploading build videos. I don't oh, know yeah. if you know who that is. He, he was quit. About, who did he call out? He called out Joe Knows. He's, ca he's, ca he's, ca he's called out every single person, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, he quit because no one watches his build videos because they watch – Dignify and Joe knows, and and that's mm -hmm. not shots or anything. It's just the truth. Yeah. It's a very saturated system. If people want to watch Park, they're going to watch Duke Dennis, Aiden, or Ticino. Like mm -hmm. that's the just of it. Like that's or the gist of it. That's like the unfortunate reality of how two K is, exactly. especially on YouTube. Yeah, and there's not much to go around. As much as people like to say that there's like all this opportunity out there, and you can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want, but you need a little help with it. Like you know, you're not just going to be able to you know fire up your stream zero viewers and, and go ahead and all of a sudden you know start making viewers like you need to make moves and stuff and if exactly. there's no one to make moves off of you're not gonna go anywhere that's why like i hate when people are like i got 10 followers on twitch putting in the grind though i just did a 24 hour stream like i hate when i see that because i'm like you're wasting your time bud because you put 24 hours in for one person to watch if you go ahead and spend some of that 24 hours making content whether it's on tiktok youtube some somewhere where more people will see it and eventually then drive it to your twitch i feel like that's where people get the misconception of like connections i feel like that's the biggest part of growing on twitch like, yeah 95 percent of the people that grow on twitch didn't do it all on their own unless they're og you know like OG. And, and people people are like a lot of people are just scared to say that and it's like mm -hmm. like i mentioned earlier there's nothing wrong with it like there's nothing wrong with connecting with people or making friendships and as long as you're not doing it for the sole purpose of trying to get clout of someone, then there's nothing wrong with it. If you're a genuine person, you're like, I enjoy this guy. I think he's a cool content creator. I want to be friends with him. Then yeah. But if you're solely being friends with someone for clout, then that's when it's an issue, which a lot of people do. But yeah, there, there's been people in the community that literally like, for example, that post hooking kid. I don't know the guy. I block him because <laughs> I don't like him. Like and just the persona, yeah. like, like people that just. There, there's always those. I remember Ja hit him up was one of those people that like you know. Oh my! Isn't that guy dating a uh, girl gamer Shay? Probably. Ja, isn't that isn't that Ja guy? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the Ja guy. Me and we got into fights. Because, honestly. I remember there was a video that went around of him and uh, that girl gamer Shay girl talking shit about me uh, because I I tweeted. Okay, so I was streaming and I had a dare where mm -hmm. it's like you have to tweet a certain thing, and me and Shay and girl gamer Chaz have had a lot of run-ins over the years. A lot of run-ins. I got um, blocked by her. <laughs> Girl Gamer Chaz tried to paint me as a racist to say that I didn't like black people back in 2017. And she got absolutely shit on. Like the whole entire community just shit on her. And she looked like an idiot. So she she, she tried to make that up. But anyways, so the Shay situation, um, him, her, and Ja were in a Discord call. And I made a tweet because in my stream I have a reward mm -hmm. where it's like you can make me tweet whatever I want. And my stream knows that I hate Girl Gamer Shay and Chaz. So they tweeted out, oh, no matter what Shay did, I still want to fuck her, right? As a joke. And it was my tweet. And I had to tweet it out. So I tweeted it out. So then they're on stream sitting there like clowning me, like making fun of me, like talking shit about. And keep in mind, so there's no we hate each other. Tweet. You could just say whatever, like your chat, Jesus, whatever the hell he said. My chat tried to make me tweet that I hate Bruce, drop him off. That's And I was just like, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Like, I'm, I'm not. I love Bruce. I'm not fucking doing that. That's great. So... <laughs> That was Girl Gamer Chaz is probably the most interesting 2K run in I've had. Um, if you, I, I don't know if you know about the whole situation, man, but man, that shit lasted like over a year. Uh, yeah, Constant back it. and forth. It was so bad. She yeah. basically tried to paint me as a racist, which I'm not. If I was, I wouldn't be in the position that I'm in. Yeah. And everyone just shit on her. And she just stuck to this fact that I just hated black people, which isn't true. And it was, it was bad. 
she's yeah, weird. She's she's, she's so she's like, so weird. The community she's, you're in too, like over no. half of the community is African American in in the two K community. Why would you ever join a community like that if you're racist? <laughs> people know that I'm not. People, everyone knows that I'm not. I have nothing to I have nothing to prove. She's just she she doesn't. We don't really talk anymore. Like we don't be. Uh, probably like 2018. She there are screenshots of her being in my chat saying. LOL, I hope you get banned again for life. And like just wishing for the worst for me. Like she's weird, bro. Now she just uh you know doing all that stuff. I don't know if I could say that on YouTube. So Oh, the OF? The yeah. OF? Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean that's how it always goes. I don't even think she plays 2K anymore. But anyways, I don't even want to talk about her because that's a that's a long story. Dude, anyways, I want to talk to you about uh your name's OVO Phantoms, obviously. So OVO, big Drake fan. Are you yep. from Canada? Or are you in- uh, yes, sir. No, I'm Canadian. I currently reside in London, Ontario, and which is right London? by Toronto. It's, it's right next. Yeah, it's not UK London. It's mm-hmm. it's uh, Canada, London. I'm born and raised in Canada. I've only ever been to LA once or can- America once, and it was to LA, and I met oh, Los, okay. Kobe, and Chenzo. So you've met them in real life? Yes. Is... I actually, I think I've seen that in my recommended. It was called like the best. It was, it didn't have a lot of views, but it was literally titled like best low stream of all time, but, but hacked or something. It said, Oh, like, oh yeah. So January 12th, 2018, 19, 2019, January 10th, 2019. I flew to LA for my birthday, 25th birthday. Uh, met Los, met Chenzo, met Kobe. We all had a good time. We've known each other for like five years. We finally all met, got together um drank you know did whatever and then we streamed so we streamed on the saturday which was my actual birthday so we streamed there was like 8k viewers which for most of the time was very very good it was gonna get like 10k but something ended up happening so we streamed we were having fun we were all having a good time chat was you know living in the moment of all of us meeting each other and then my instagram got hacked so my instagram got hacked and there was pictures of kkk members doing things to other races posted on my Instagram and it was like they leaked a bunch of people's numbers because I had private uh, Instagram oh, yeah. DMs. And the crazy thing about this is I'm not going to blame anyone for this. I'm not saying that this is this person's fault. Mm-hmm. But tying back into the Chaz situation. So I don't think I've ever publicly talked about this. But so when this happened, one of my friends who was there got a text from Chaz saying, why are you hanging out with a white supremacist? Right. Keep in mind, that was two hours before we started streaming. Two hours go by, all of a sudden my Instagram gets hacked. There's racist shit being posted to my Instagram. And then the person that she texted, his phone number gets leaked. I just thought that was a coincidence. Yeah. Like, and, and I never got my Instagram back. The dude ended up deleting my Instagram. I had like 6K followers. I lost that. And then we obviously got off stream because it escalated to a point where like they were finding out like Los's address. They were calling us, like threatening us and shit. It was really fucking weird. And that was after but, the beef with Chaz too? And I think we were still in like the midst of it, but it was just weird timing. Like I still feel a certain way about that. And I still think that there's some sort of like a tie in there, but I, I don't even want to get... mm-hmm. And it's like, I just don't see how that's not a coincidence with, with how those events unfold. If you saw from my perspective, you would hundred percent think it was her, but I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying it, it's, it's, it's weird. I'm not going to put anything out there. Cause I don't want to ignite that beef again, but I've never actually, I don't think I've ever talked about that publicly, but Really? That that happened, and then my Instagram got hacked, and we got off because I was pissed. Like I was so mad because I lost an Instagram mm-hmm. that I had for like five, four, four, five years. Like, dude, over something stupid too. That was just like, I don't even know what I did. They, well, not they, even saying that. But I'm just saying like, just like what they did. Yeah, it was so childish. Like posting. That it could have been. A, it could have been a, a guy who was banning Los's chat that was just wanted to ruin the stream, or it could have been what I was hinting at. I, we'll never know. Yeah, I feel like that's another thing too with like back to what we were talking about with Twitch and YouTube. Like YouTube, like I'll get hate and stuff sometimes. Obviously, you'll get hate on Twitch. But I feel like the hate on Twitch is so much deeper just because it's your personality that they're hating on. Like on YouTube, they hate yeah. your content. Where on Twitch, they like hate you. <laughs> like they don't hate content. No, they hate but, you. Okay, the thing with that though is like a lot of things that people say to me on – you're talking about me specifically, right? Well, just like anybody. Like I feel oh, like – Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. No, for sure. Because Twitch, Twitch, the insults are more personal because it's you putting yourself out, out there. Pardon me. Sorry. Mm-hmm. YouTube, it's more like your content. So whatever. Like mm-hmm. the thing about the job though with YouTube and Twitch is your job is to be judged. Like – you are putting yourself on the internet to be liked by people 
So okay. you can essentially get paid. Like, mm -hmm. so that obviously comes with judgment of people who aren't going to like you. Mm -hmm. So you have to deal with that. And I've come to realize that it's like, my job is to put myself on the internet for people to judge what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I, never I can't, like that, yeah. well, it is. If you think of the reality of what YouTube and Twitch are is you're putting out something that you find creative on the internet and it's people's jobs to watch that and form their own opinion and judge you. So if they don't like it, then they don't like it. But if in a Twitch stream, if they don't like my personality, then I'm like, okay, like why? <laughs> oh, you're too cocky, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know? Yeah, like the, the hate comments I'll get are literally like if I post a build video, they'll be like, you fucking idiot. Like, why would you make them 6'10"? Like just like something stupid like that where like if you're on Twitch, it'll be like, you know, a lot more personal on that. Like obviously that like – A comment like that me. though like – a comment like your YouTube comment though. What are you supposed to say to that? Yeah, like, you're like my fault, bro. <laughs> like, 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 like they, they don't need. If they don't like the video, they don't need to comment. Like, if I don't like a video, I'm not gonna comment. Your, I'm also 25 though. Yeah. If I was 15 or something, I probably would be doing the same <laughs> shit. But if I watch a video and I don't like it, I just don't watch the rest of the video. Like yeah. the hate comments I get on look like, on build videos always always like blow my mind because you'll watch a you'll you'll be looking for a good build. So you don't know what build to make. You go to my video for the build, and then you watch the whole build video, and you say, this build is ass. And then you leave. <laughs> like, like, so you spend all your time watching yeah, the video like, with the comment, this build is ass. Yeah, I mean. You, you can ne you'll never, ever be able to figure out the thought process of people who watch YouTube. Because the audience who watch YouTube, this is what I've learned from doing both of them. YouTube's audience age is probably, I want to say, 15 years old. Twitch is a lot older. Yeah, and true. Twitch is live. Twitch is live. So you can react to the comments. The thing with YouTube is people feel they can leave a comment whenever they want mm -hmm. and you'll never see it. Yeah. With Twitch though, it's live. Like you're reading the chat. So mm -hmm. that's another thing. Yeah. And I feel like Twitch though, as much as like we're talking about the hate side of it, there is so much more love on Twitch. Like if I am like on YouTube and stuff, if I'm mm -hmm. trying to promote a tw like Twitter or if I'm trying to promote Instagram or anything like that, I, it's going to be hard for them to actually leave my video Go get Twitter. And I feel like they're a lot younger because when I will do, I'll do like giveaway streams on YouTube. Well, I'll just like, um, I think like last month I did like a hundred, like a $50 giveaway. Uh, just spin the wheel. My chat loves it. I do it once a month. And uh, that like, they, they mess with that. Right. But if you're mm -hmm. on Twitch, you could literally be like, yo guys, go follow my Twitter. And you will get so many followers on there because they actually care like about you, like your personality, not yep. as much just what you post. That's why personally for me, I love YouTube. Don't get me wrong. I love the community I've made, whatever. Yeah. Um, but Twitch, man, I, yeah. the thing about the thing about it though, is that there's a fine line. I'm 25. So I can't sit here and say that when I stream on Twitch or when I upload a YouTube video, I don't want to make money because I do. Mm -hmm. We all do. And anyone who says to you that oh, yeah. is at a certain level, anyone who says to you that it's at a certain level that they don't stream or do YouTube for money, mm -hmm. they're lying because we're all doing it for money at the end of the day. If you're at a certain point, you're not uploading a video for free. You're not streaming on YouTube for free, streaming on Twitch for free. Let's just get that out of the way. Yeah. But with that conversation, Twitch community is way better than YouTube. Like way better for me personally, because I've been on Twitch way longer, mm -hmm. but the pay difference in Twitch than YouTube, it's unreal, bro. Like people think that if you, okay, I average like the last month I've averaged probably a thousand viewers, right? Mm -hmm. People legitimately think, that I make a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. It all depends on your community because yeah. you don't have a salary on Twitch. So it all depends on how much your community supports you. Mm -hmm. And everyone has this idea in your head. You average a thousand viewers. Oh, you make fucking 10 K a month. Yeah. No, like, no, yeah. that's not the case yeah. at all. Like it depends on how you market yourself too, because like there's this one guy I've been watching a lot. Um, He's possibly even getting on the podcast eventually, but his name's Thanos. I don't know if you know him, F Q N O S. I do, I do. I snub, snubby, snubby twenty one. He's an E League player. Mm -hmm. He's friends with a couple of people who are friends with him. Uh, or, yeah, he, he, yep, 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 yep. But uh, Thanos, like, he knows how to get people to subscribe to him. Like, I don't know if it's reverse psychology, but someone will subscribe to him. Or gift him five, and I'll be like, "You fucking pussy, gift me ten in tier two next time." <laughs> or like, he'll say something like that. And, and that also it. all depends on your community, though. Exactly, like, because yeah. the, the community I'm in, I don't know if you know too well about the community, but it's like me, Chenzo, Kobe. I have Lowe, no in, like, I um, have no knowledge of that side of the community. Okay, I so I, I, it's like it's like a, it's like a, it's like a sub community. Everyone has them. Mm -hmm. The thing with us is that there's so many people in the sub community that 
if they sub to everyone, I'm not kidding you, they're paying probably eighty dollars a month in subs. Jeez. So it's like they'll pick one or two of their stream their their streamers and they'll sub to them, which is fine. I have nothing against that. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's hard to be sub to everyone because you'll be paying literally like a phone bill a month in subs. Yeah, exactly. And obviously not everyone's built to do that. But then you have like uh the thing with the thing with Twitch too that is crazy to me is like, you know, on YouTube you have pretty much a certain if, if once you get to a certain point you're pretty much gonna make a good like a good amount of money on YouTube mm -hmm. every time, um, but like on on Twitch it could surprise you like there could be someone that could come into your chat that's like swimming in in money and he'll just like you know donate you a hundred subs you know and it's like where did that come from you know? which I've never had happen yet but I hope really? it does but. Yeah, no, the, the, see, YouTube is a lot more consistent than Twitch is for sure. Because Twitch is all dependent on how much people want to be generous. Yeah, and and yeah. that's why I think uh, – this is actually a really good topic to get onto. That's why I think Twitch is going to lose a lot of their streamers mm -hmm. because these, others, these other platforms, Facebook especially, are offering people salaries, which is a yeah, guaranteed yeah. amount of money per month. Is that I why don't people see, are going to Facebook? Yeah, because yeah. that's a guaranteed amount of money that you're getting a month with Twitch – you're not guaranteed it. Sure, the platform's better, the interface is better, but a lot of us are getting older. A lot of us are growing up and, and some of us are gonna retire in like two, three years. Like mm. we can't, if we're getting offered a salary as opposed to non-guaranteed money, yeah. everyone's gonna take it. And I guarantee you, there's gonna be a lot more streamers who are going over to Facebook because exactly. there's a salary. I don't know why Twitch doesn't do that. Twitch has the money. Amazon is a billion, billion dollar company exactly. and you sh the only people who get offered really? salaries <laughs> Are like Nick Merckx, Shroud, and all the people at the top. Yeah. I was going to say, doesn't like Nick Merckx make like $4 per sub? <laughs> like something crazy. Yeah, because he's on a contract. I'm pretty sure he gets paid from Twitch to stay on the platform. Yeah. Whereas like like Ninja, $100 million to go to Mixer. Like, come on. <laughs> like, Who's not accept Who's not yeah. accepting that? And, and like, he you're lucked out too. He got paid. He made the He got bought out. Yeah, he got – imagine getting paid 100 mil, hating the platform that you're on because of the views, getting bought out, still making that money, and then yeah. going back to Twitch. That's wild. That's that's like the biggest win of, you know. That, no, that's the yeah. biggest – that's the biggest win ever in gaming history, regardless. I mean, Ninja just – I mean, I feel like gaming was always a big thing um, for the people that were involved in it in terms mm -hmm. of like the people that were interested in gaming. But I feel like Ninja really put on for people that didn't know about. It. Like I feel like once he started, you know, hosting, being at the New Year's uh, when the ball drops, you know, that was he, so cringe. Oh, yeah. oh, that was. Cringe. What did he do? What did he do? He, like, did he dab? What did he lost. do? He told, he had oh my god! My, uh, oh my! god. My, my cousin is. She used to be the producer of Wild and Out, and she used to. Uh, re she used to run the New Year's thing, and literally the year before Ninja went, she like retired from that oh my god i wish because like we had that's funny we wanted to go she would get us in with that and she oh my god ninja doing that that might be the biggest meme of, of new year like that's how is was that this year is that how this year started off with ninja flossing to an or was that last year i think it might have been 18 i don't know it was a, it, yeah it was a it might have been yeah but anyways back to ninja he like he just put on for someone like he's sponsored by adidas now he also collabed with the biggest uh, artists of our generation. Drake, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That was a crazy – I still remember that. That was the I craziest stream I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, I was actually talking about my girlfriend on the way home here about Drake because we were listening to cameras, I think. I think cameras, yeah. Word and, uh, on roll. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. blow. Yeah, that's And I was like, um, do you like the song? She's like, eh, because she's not a big Drake fan. I was like, okay. And uh, – but like, granted, she doesn't really listen to hip hop, so like, she doesn't or like pop and stuff. Does she Come listen to that? country? Yeah, that's what she used to like a lot. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Luke, go ahead. Luke Combs and shit. I mean, he <laughs> does. He does have a couple good songs, but I'm not listening to country of my own free will. L listen, I live in the country. Like, I there's farms around. I I I I, li I grew up in the country. Yeah. yeah. If it's summertime, and I'm like going to my grandma's pool, I'll put on, and I'm in the car with her. I'll let her play some country and while we drive through the while we drive through the fucking Okay, paper, fair. That's fair. You know? That's fair. <laughs> Middle of winter, December 20th, we are not listening to that. <laughs> Luke Combs, yeah. I grabbed me a beer and drove my truck. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. But uh yeah, I I truly believe that Drake can be is in the topic for greatest artist of all time considering that every single every single thing he drops is number 1. It, dude, it's it's at that point. 
It's not even a debate. If you don't think that Drake is one of the best artists that we've ever seen alive mm -hmm. in our time living when it's all said and done, there's nothing to say. For me, it's personally Michael Jackson, yeah, but I mean, Drake's definitely going to be up there when it's all said and done. Because I, I, I was alive when Jackson Michael did. Jackson was you know, doing his thing, but mm -hmm. you know. I, when it's all said and done, Drake will be the best. I used to be a big Michael Jackson fan. When I, was I love, I, I, I love Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess like the last thing that we could do to kind of wrap it up, like bringing it back to 2K, just um, like if you want to make 2K like a fun game, right? Mm -hmm. Considering that you've been in the community since what 2K15, you said you've been in the community. Obviously, you've played 2K from way before 2K15. I play, I, I've been on the internet trying to make a personality since 2K15, yes. Yeah, exactly. So you've seen the highs and the lows of 2Ks. What would you do to, like, make... Two, say 2K22 comes out, and you it's a clean slate. You get to do whatever you want. You could implement whatever system you want, whatever way you want the game to be. How, how would you do it so the game's good again and everyone wants to play it? Um... Personally, I think it would be like a hybrid of, of I would say, mm, 15, honestly, like we look at 15 as an amazing game, pardon me. Mm -hmm. We look at 15 as an amazing game with flawless, but I'm going to be honest with you, 15 nowadays would be the worst game ever. It was fun <laughs> at the time, but it would not, it's like MW2. I think MW2 was a great game at the time, but nowadays if it was played, it would be awful because all everyone would do is one man on Renew Tube. So I think of 15 in the same aspect as I think of as MW. So I think the most balanced game was 16. The only thing I would change about 16 is that greens didn't go in. That's the only thing that pissed me off yeah. is and that the patch when they took out Oh the yeah, and the speed boosting patch made it super slow. So I, what I would do, man, is honestly I would take 2K16. Obviously, I would change affiliations and things like that because mm -hmm. as much as people want the same affiliations back, which I say it all my, all the time myself, I feel like we would get bored of it a lot quicker if they made new affiliations. The affiliation they have this year isn't bad. Yeah. It's just the city. Like we like this. That I just can't explain how stupid that is. We just want a park. Like <laughs> nobody wants a city. I promise you on everything I love. Ninety percent of people who play two K that have played the older two Ks do not want a city. Exactly. It was cool maybe in two K nineteen because the the everything was so close together. Mm -hmm. But other than that, no. So I would take sixteen and. I would just make different affiliations and maybe add 19's neighborhood. Yeah, that, I mean that's that's a good yeah yeah. I mean I feel like the only reason people even talk about the affiliations from 16, 15, and 7, like all those, is the nostalgic aspect. Like if you had if you had the ability to go play the game right now, you would not. Like you would play it for maybe a month and then yeah. you'd get off it. Like the same thing with when you had 17. I went back and played 15 for maybe two weeks and then I was like, nope. Uh, over that because it's not it's you don't get the same feeling anymore because yeah. when we think of 2k15 we think of being 20 well for me being 20 years old and sitting there and actually caring about video games now like i'm just getting older and i think that's a big part of why like video game viewership numbers are dropping when i stream on twitch as soon as i turn on a video game i lose 200 300 viewers wow because people aren't necessarily interested in video games you know what i mean like mm -hmm. Which is kind of crazy because the community was so much smaller back then to what it is now. Yeah, they were more entwined, so they they cared more about the game. And now it's – it's it's. I think Aiden started this, but, like, pe people don't want to watch 2K. Like, they want to watch personality. They want to watch E-Dates, which I don't even care about because, to be honest with you, I'm not watching a 2K stream right now either. Yeah. I can't. It's phys Everything's the same. Yeah. Every play style is the same. Every jump shot's the same. Every badge is the same. It's – there's not many streamers either that really like change it up that much. I know one streamer that I can watch for a little bit is GV. I don't know if you know about him. Just up you. I don't know. Who that is. Oh, he's seen a post score. Yeah. 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 Okay. He has, I know that like is. he gets like 50, 60 viewers, 70 viewers. He is insane. He does these like scenes where like I saw this clip on Twitter of him. Uh, he loses this game right on a one v one court. Freaks out. Is raging. F flick like with the stream deck or whatever. It goes to a different scene where he's in this like nuclear headquarters he's like i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it he presses it it switches over to the picture of the 2k headquarters all of a sudden missiles start hitting it and then it's just like like it's just gone. i feel like there's some reason that could be tos but i like it <laughs> yeah it was just like or uh, another time he lost and he like made a ufc thing like in the background and it was like live like he looked like he was just in a cage with people sparring behind him he's like ronnie he had the ufc gloves on he's like i'd love to fly you out you know we could go ahead duke it out in this mat and i was like like ronnie 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 oh brother 
I mean, I feel like Ronnie does get a lot of unnecessary hate considering the fact he that does. he doesn't have any control over the game. He's the skate. He's the scapegoat of the game, bro. Yeah. 100%. He doesn't want to say half the things he's saying. 90% yeah. of the things he said is for promotional purposes. He actually called me one time uh, on the phone and I, I I got one of my videos flagged. It was like, ironically enough, this was involving girl gamer Chaz. So oh, I nice. posted so many videos about Ronnie 2K, right? Many, many, many. And the one video I posted was Ronnie 2K was in her chat asking her to twerk, right? And there was literal proof of it. So I took a screenshot of it and people were sending it to me freaking out. So I made a video on it. Keep in mind, I've made like seven, eight videos, not twerk, but like dance, whatever, same shit. Yeah. And uh, so I made like seven, eight videos talking bad about Ronnie, right? No phone call. The one time it involves that girl gamer Chaz girl, all of a sudden Ronnie 2K is calling my fucking phone Saying, oh, you should take down this video. If if you don't, there's going to be troubles because it involves people who didn't give Did you permission. Did you already have his number? Or did he like – No, him? he called me from – I literally am not kidding. I got a DM from him. He's like, yo, let's talk. So I'm like, okay, give my number. I got a call from – I'm talking to fucking Ronnie 2K on the phone about a video that I made. I'm Keep in mind, I'm sitting at like 40K subs at this point. I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? So I'm on the phone with Ronnie 2K basically saying that I have to take down the video. So I took down the video and then everyone like for like a little period of time, like people hated on me. They're like – Oh, like you're a bitch. Like you, 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 you're sucking Ronnie Two K's dick. It's like if I kept that video up, my channel would have had a strike. I don't have a strike on my channel at all. I'm not risking that. Yeah, people don't take that serious enough. Like I don't know if I could say that his name on here, but like Nade Shot, we'll just go with that. Like yeah, like, like the way he lost his channel is actually terrible. Like oh yeah, with the whole parody thing and his, like the misunderstanding. And I'm sure if he went to court with it, he would get it back. But. I don't think it's worth it at this point unless he keeps yeah. getting banned. Like every time he hits 100K, this is what I feel like happens. He hits 100K and they're like, all right, we got to send this guy's plaque. Let's get all of him and like, let's get his information. Go get his information. They're like, what the hell? Banned every time. Like, How many times time- has he been banned? Three? Three or four. Yeah. But yeah, like, and he's permanent banned on Twitch too. I remember when he streamed porn on Twitch. Oh, oh my God. God. That was the funniest thing, bro. Because. Didn't he, like, lose a game or something? He's like, you know what? Fuck this. <laughs> and he, like, pulled it up. Bro, he, he was a fucking psychopath back in the day. Holy fuck, bro. He actually, like, had problems. I was in TMB he, in 17. He's he's a lot cooler of a guy now. He's definitely matured a lot. Like, he's matured a lot, a lot. But yeah. he had fucking problems back in the day. Holy shit, that guy was a fucking hothead. And I love Nate. I played Warzone with Nate. Like, me and Nate are cool, so. Or yeah, Nate shot. I, I like him cool. more now than he was. Like, when I met him in 17... Like you said with Los, I literally he was my favorite streamer in seventeen. I remember it was it was December like. Wait, what was your gamer tag? Fitzy. Fitzy. I don't TV. remember. I was I was a designer for, for at first. That's how I got in. That's how I got into the community. I started designing. Oh, so so you know sports TMB the goat. He owes me seven hundred ninety dollars. <laughs> and I it was two weeks of promotion. That dude's a fucking goat, bro. I made so many videos on that guy, and people still get scammed by that fucking dude. Oh, dude, my God. This is what happened. So he, he, you know, texted me or whatever out of nowhere. I'm like, what's up, Anthony? And he's like, so um, I'm trying to re- I'm trying to change my name. This was over the summer. and This like, summer? Or No, right in the beginning of current gen when my views were terrible. Okay. So I was like, I, I'm make a little extra money. So I'm like, he's like, um... I, I need you to – I'm really trying to change my name, and I'm reaching out to people, and I just want to, you know, try to try to re, restart my brand. I'm like, all right. I'm like, are you going to pay me? Because I'm not going to start this if you – he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So first week goes, he pays me. I'm like, okay. Second week goes, he pays me. Third week goes, he pays me. I get a 100K video. By the way, because um, most people that do ads like that, like bad services, they'll pay you $2 per thousand views, right? He said he'd pay me $4 per thousand views. I was like – Okay, and he did that for three weeks straight. No, it was kind of like what Step Back Rack did, where he kind of get gets you like comfortable with doing it. The second the goat, the goat, the goat, uh, the goat, by the way, goat scammer. But um, the second he, I got a video that hit 100k under his name. He owed me that happened. Then I had another video that popped off. He owed me 700 some dollars. Haven't heard from him. That was in September. Still haven't got paid. Oh uh, man, I know so many people that. I don't know. I just don't understand like what the point of that is because like obviously you make a lot of money and like you you get whatever, but like your reputation is ruined forever and you're never going to be able to do anything unless you change your name. And he was doing YouTube for a little bit and he just stopped. So I don't know what the fuck he plans on doing. Yeah, like seventy like k and then stopped. I mm-hmm. do know his no- like 
when we were close in 17, that man made $127,000 in, in two Oh, I know, I know. I've seen that. I've seen everything about that. I don't know if you watch the videos I made on him, but I've seen everything about that guy. He That is crazy. And he was six, 16, 17 years old. Just like. That's impressive. But, um, I mean, we could go ahead and wrap this up now. I mean, it was good talking to you. Um, eventually, if, you know, if, if this takes off, we'd love to have you back on. Because. Any, any, uh. Any ending questions you got? Um, I was just going to, like, do you have any, like, closure, anything you want to say? Uh, I mean, there's there's a lot of stuff going on right now with you in the community, especially with you being involved with, you know, you know the two hype people. I actually watched uh, their video yesterday with a little bit of a uh, different – I try to look at it from a different ap- approach because I don't want to, like, put anyone's names out there because I don't know if they're cool with them or not, but I know people that have actually made collab videos with them, and they told me that when they – um, when they are two totally different like personalities on and yeah. off the camera, like they were so like high energy going crazy during the video, you know, super like best friends. The second the camera was off, they were all in a different corner on their phones. Like it was just like they hated each other. And he said it was so weird and it seemed so like, like it didn't seem authentic, you know, whereas like they were uh, on a different type of energy. So like when I was watching, I watched their Christmas video where they like exchange gifts and I was like, I wonder if like what actually happens here like are these actually gifts or are they like what's going on here um i mean i don't really have like i said i i came up with zach ttg when he averaged like 200 viewers me and him were best friends Mm -hmm. he blew up i haven't heard from him since lsk hollywood yeah lsk honestly like in all honesty i have nothing bad to say about lsk he he's helped me out a lot in the past he helped me move like i really have nothing bad to say about him but um at the end of the day I'm always going to be on Los's side. Los is my best friend, so I really, I, I just have nothing to say other yeah, than there's, there's whatever happens. Whatever happens with Los or Mopi, I'm always going to be on their side. I've known them for years, um, so yeah, it, it will all come out eventually. Like it always yeah. does. You can't hide shit. I, I don't on think the it's. I don't feel like it's even too hype versus Los and in Mopi and all them. I feel like it's like right now it's LSK and, and TDG. Like, I feel yeah, like, it's I, it's going like to get bad. It's going to get is not involved at all. Like he's. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, you said. Oh. I know. I just, I just don't want to say some shit. But yeah, no, you're right. It's, it's, um, yeah, it's a uh, maybe not no comment if he is, you know. No, but, no, no comment, no, no comment. No, no, comment. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my alcohol. No comment. <laughs> oh. All right, man. Well, uh, I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this. I mean, this is like I said, you are literally. I'm glad the first. you agreed. Yeah, I'm the, glad the, you agreed. The first one. Here. Yeah. Because, Wait, what's the name of the podcast? Uh, we aimed at Time Out. So pretty much the way I, I thought of it was I went to this designer and I told him that I'm coming from a basketball community and I need – eventually the, the goal is to scale it. So eventually uh, you have a base of big creators that you're able to branch out of from all different – like from Twitch, YouTube, all this stuff. Eventually you get to bigger creators, bigger – till the point where I don't need to be in the 2K community. You know, I could just get people from Fortnite and get people from like all of these other communities. Um, Fitzy, thanks for having me on uh, the Timeout podcast. Shout out Timeout. I appreciate it. It was fun. Talked about a lot of cool things. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm Phantoms, OVO <laughs> Phantoms on Twitch, multiple personality disorder. Um, all right. But yeah. I guess we'll just, we'll, yeah, wrap it up.